Hi guys, today I'm working on a 2008 Honda CRV. I am replacing a serpentine belt. The first thing I'm going to do is to have your uh, wheel, uh, steering wheel, you turn all the way to the right so later you can access to the wheel well. Then remove the uh, power steering fluid, the reservoir. There's a tap back here. You press on the tap and you pull. You pull this in up and you put it aside and then, then put it like that. And you can remove the brackets. The bracket, one bracket, it looks like this. And so it's still like that. And then that's the tap. Remove these two bottom bolts using uh, 10 millimeters and remove the uh, uh, power uh, steering hose clip just the clip that holds the that hole to the uh, bracket and this way you can have access to the uh, tensioner the tensioner bolt is this one down here. Remove these clips right here. Hey, use 14 millimeters with long extension or long wrench. And then pull it as far as you can go towards you. And then you loosen then the belt. The belt will be loosened and uh, you pull it out. The original belt has 110,000 miles on it and it looks pretty good. It doesn't show any sign of wear or any sign of crack. There's no cracks. But anyway, I want to replace with the new belt. This is the belt um, I am going to use. And this is the diagram for the belt. And this is for 2007 to 2011 Honda CRV. So the first one right here, that's the power steering pump, the tensioner, the alternator, the water pump, belt pulley, the crank pulley, and the AC compressor. So you can take this screen screenshot of my uh, diagram and then keep it on your phone if you want for uh, your future uh, belt change uh, reference. I can turn it this way and if you want to take a screenshot this way and then you can print it out so the way I do I put the belt from the bottom and up so I put the belt right in here right in there from the uh, a crank pulley, then the AC compressor and the water pump, and the alternator, then the power steering, then the last one I put on was the tensioner. When you put in the new belt, you pull this toward you all the way you can. And you run, you put the belt in order. I put from the, like I said, from the crank pulley and all the way up, follow the diagram. And after that, the last one is the tensioner pulley. When you get to the tensioner pulley, you tr pull, pull this all the way toward you and put the belt on. The belt will not go all the way in. The easiest way to make the belt 
go in in place is to after you do that you pull it and then you rotate the power steering pump you keep you rotate like that you rotate then then the belt will go on the track and rotate the top pulley while you holding down the tensioner until the belt is fully seated and then you release the tensioner this is the automatic tensioner so it will automatic automatically tension the belt you don't have to adjust anything after that you are set you put back the power steering reservoir and the two bolts the brackets that if you one bracket if you took out the bolts two bolts two bottom bolts earlier And clip back put out back put back on the shield cover. Then you are done. So if you follow my direction, my instruction, then you'll be able to do it in about fifteen minutes with no special tool at all. All you need is 10 uh, is 14 millimeters wrench with long extension all right thank you for watching guys wish you guys have a good day subscribe to my channel click on the bell notification and enjoy bye now